Hi everybody, Hi. it's Chris here and Amanda from PD and we are doing our weekly Instagram live and we are here to talk about Woo, Woo. September issue of Professional Beauty which uh, should be landing with you either next couple of days yeah. or beginning of next week so you should be getting that very very soon um, so we just thought we'd talk about some of the things in it yeah so we've got a couple of really big features in it at the moment mm. um, I think one of the biggest ones is um, we've had a look at some of the game changing developments happening in semi-permanent makeup um, especially because this side of the industry is really growing I mean lots of people microblading and everything like that it's getting really popular um, so we've had a look at some of the treatment developments and we've explored some of the hottest trends including how to create faux freckles natural lips powdered brows and liner um, so this is a feature that was written by Georgia it's really interesting really detailed so if this is a a sector of the market you're thinking about getting into mm. or whether you want to try and train up in a different technique take a look at this because it has all the information that you'll need yes and then we've also got so this is uh, one of our issues where we're going to be previewing professional beauty nor so the big mm. preview is in here we've got lots and lots of features we've got all the information about which brands are coming some of the things that, are, that they're bringing mm. some of their launches we've also got this great thing which is um, 10 reasons why salon owners say you should visit Professional Beauty Nor. So you can hear it from other salon owners or people in the industry as to why it's such a great event to attend. You can register for free. The tickets mm. are in the bio, they're on our stories, they're everywhere. Um, but yeah, you can register for free mm. October 13th to 14th in <laughs> City Manchester, which mm. is right by my home, which is really cool. <laughs> um, that piece is really sweet as well because actually a lot of people are saying one of the reasons why they love coming to the show is that they might work on their own so they get to network yeah. with other like mounted uh, professionals, they get to make friends, there's loads of really, really cheap, pretty much practically free education, yeah. um, and even the competitions as well, there's lots of information on how you can enter them, because mm. we have a makeup, a lash, and a nails championship, and the entries are still open, so if you want to be crowned the best in your sector, it's yeah. definitely worth um, taking a look and seeing if you want to enter. Yes. Um, I guess another feature that's probably worth a mention is not just because I wrote it um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've had a look about layering miracle products to achieve glowing skin and how that's become the new norm but how these complex routines are starting to have an adverse effect on client skin and just pretty much investigating the rise of product overload and you know can you have too much of a good thing mm. I mean there's um, lots of affordable over-the-counter brands that have launched that are offering retinol and vitamin C and obviously clients are hearing about these products wanting to put them in their routines but not necessarily knowing what could go with what or how they should be encapsulated or formulated for efficacy and so lots of people are getting skin irritations and lots of therapists have said that they've seen a rise in this so this feature is all about kind of looking at that what products should go together, what you can do with a client who does come in with product overload and also how you can help educate your clients on you know putting together a routine that works for them so it's this one here a lovely Sam Smith lyric is the headline too much of a good thing so um, check that one out that's the second time Sam Smith has come up in the office today as well I am a Sam Smith fan there so um, <laughs> detour there but we, yeah, a little bit <laughs> uh, we've also got a lovely little feature looking at some of the uh, new spas that are opening Ooh, in uh, the UK in autumn so we've got uh, the Harrogate Spa which we also have a feature on on the website mm, yeah. um, we've also got uh, Sparrow Newton Somerset Woodland Spa, lots of pictures, lots of info. Mm. So uh, make sure you check out that. Maybe a bit yeah. of inspo about uh, a spa break that you might want to take. <laughs> you never know. Um, we've also got an interview with Eve Taylor. Yes. So she founded the aromatherapy brand, which is stopped in a lot of salons and spas. Um, but she's been around for a very long time. She's very pro education as well. And she actually gives her opinion on whether there should be more regulation in the beauty industry, mm -hmm. which I know is a really hot topic at the moment and um, she also talks about sustainability and um, what the brand's doing to be more eco-friendly and actually what salon spas can do as well to do that 
And she also talks about how to create a product and make it a household name. Mm. So if you're actually thinking about launching a product range yourself, there's no one better to hear about that from than someone who's been there and done it. Yes, yeah, I mean, you Taylor, we know, it's such a such a big name in the industry. It was really great. I know mm. you got to speak with her. It was on, it was on the phone for about an yeah. hour, just having a good old nap. It was very, great. Very, funny lady. <laughs> very good sense of humour. Yes, and there will be, uh, we have some stuff with Eve Taylor going out on our social media channels next week as well. So do make mm. sure to check that out. Uh, other things, we've got an interview with uh, the Managing Director, Richard Lipsitz, of, uh, well, a Renew Beauty which yeah. was by a sculpture um, GB so that has uh, talking about their rebranding we've also got our career path mm. with Sonia Robinson from BTCT it's all about how to make it as an assessor so mm. all the good uh, all some really good interviews in, yeah. this, in this issue I mean they're always good but you know, yeah. we've got lots of them we've got lots of them this month yeah and we've also got PB North speaker Justina Ruztek from yes. Gino who's done a really good hot topic for us this month about are mm. mobile beauty businesses killing high street salons? So she's kind of exploring the rise of mobile beauty and what this means for more traditional salons and spas on the high street. Um, really, really interesting opinion. We'd love to know your mm. thoughts on it. We've also got Lizzie Falconer talking about the natural and holistic stage of PB North. Sorry if you can hear any background noise, by the way. We're still, <laughs> new office, we're still working things out still. So if there yes. is a bit of noise, sorry about that. Um, we also have my social surgery, yeah, not great, to great toot piece. my own horn again. Very good piece this month, actually. Yes, talking very, very all topical. about the uh, new changes that are happening on Instagram. So where in some countries they're hiding lights, sort of the debate about mm. that, how that might affect your salon if you've really invested in Instagram. So lots of important things that you might not know or you might want to know about. Uh, is that Justina there? Yeah, yes, hi, hi Justina. Justina. <laughs> we were just talking about you if you didn't hear I hope that. You saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, yeah. um, that is. Yeah, that's kind that's of the, the September the topics. Issue. I mean, In... we've got new treatments, new products, you oh, know, yeah. industry news. Um, kind of everything you could possibly want in one magazine, yes. not to blow our own trumpets. Um, <laughs> but no, it'll be great to hear what you guys think. Send us pictures of you enjoying the magazine. Hopefully yeah. still in the sunshine. Yes. Um, but otherwise, I guess that's it for the, this week. Yes, uh, we will be back next week. Next week we are. I don't know. I don't know whether we're doing the haul next week. No, it's week not after. next week. We, yeah. In two weeks' time, we're going to be doing a Christmas collections haul. Yes. So all the best collections from the yes. pro brands that you can think about stocking in your. Store salon spa because you know it's getting to that time where you need to make your Christmas orders so yep. we want to keep you in the loop and give you a first look and also uh, next week we are going to be talking we're going to go through some of the comments that we've had uh, with regards to a story that we put up about uh, should nail extensions be banned in schools so that is something so uh, mm. if you haven't commented already that is on our Facebook it's on the website it's also on here in places yeah. so good debate uh, piece yeah it's, 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 it's really good one. so do let us know your thoughts but anyway that is yeah. for this week so thank you very Thanks much for so watching much, and for tuning in leaving your comments and we will see you soon see you later bye, bye.